case studies for you. And um, a lot of you, when, if you're somehow considering the internet in your assignment, and um, definitely listen up today, and we'll have some brainstorming at the end. So whoever gets in first to talk about that assignment, we can help today. So anyone here tweeting on Twitter? Yeah, one. Come on. No one else on Twitter? Mustafa's on Twitter. I'm going to tell you about Mustafa's Twitter account later. And um, we're going to have a hashtag for the presentation today, which is hash EOM UTS. So if you want to tweet during the presentation, you can do that. Anything you find interesting. And then we'll actually review that later on. And I'll tell you a little bit about um, guiding and managing presentations um, through Twitter. And also I'll be tweeting about resources that you can use as research material on your assignment as well. So you can check this later on. So what we'll be talking about today, we'll just talk about a couple of different types of online marketing and just what's effective and really popular at the moment and then we'll jump straight into some case studies. So why online marketing? And we've already heard in the, in the presentation from the girls before that they want to build a profile and they want to get their product known. So one thing about online marketing is obviously getting your business, your brand, your product, your service, whatever it is that you're marketing, um, in front of more people. So you might have noticed that some websites make businesses look bigger and better than they are, and other websites actually make businesses look smaller and much less than they actually are in terms of maybe the revenue that they're making. So online marketing and building a profile really um, ampl amplifies that. The second aspect is generating leads or sales. Do any of you look up products and services online? Yeah, if you want to travel somewhere, you might look up destinations or hotels or something like that. Anyone buying stuff online? Yeah, clothes, computers, video games, software, all sorts of stuff, right? So that's of course another aspect of online marketing is that we can actually increase the sales and increase the leads online and make money straight away, not just build a profile. And the third one is reputation management. So are people talking about your brand or your business, your product or your service? What are they saying? Are you aware of what they're saying? And do you respond to them and you're being part of the conversation? And we're going to have some really, two really good case studies about that later on. And the other one is to build a community. And that's really, really hard work. Um, if any of you um, participated in Facebook pages and groups and people start to to build communities all the time. It's hard work, but when it works, it can actually be quite good. And I want to show you the little example here. Some of you may know this video. Do we have an audio here? He isn't me. But if he stopped using lady scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat. The man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I am. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. <laughs> okay, so that's online how much Super Bowl ads could cost. But on YouTube, this has actually had, I think, over 32 million views and over 400,000 comments. So there's actually a community that's now built around this ad, which would have otherwise not been together if everyone had just watched at home while they were seeing the Super Bowl. That makes sense. Now, we'll just talk a few, about a few types of online marketing. And the first one I'm going to talk about is search engine optimization because you guys know I specialize in that. And just give you a few of the broader details. I'm not going to go into technical stuff because uh, it's probably a bit boring for you and you're not going to need it for your assignment. But if you are interested in that sort of stuff, I'm quite happy to talk to you after the tube or on Twitter. So um, there are really four aspects to search engine optimization. The first one is the keyword research, so the top left-hand corner. And the research is really the base of any any online marketing, and any marketing probably at all. But with keyword research, um, we're really looking at what are people searching for and how many people are searching for something. 
Because if we're taking the wrong keyword, no one's searching for it, we can be at the top of the search engines, um, but we're not going to get any traffic, we're not going to get any sales, we're not going to get any leads. So sorry, just to back up, search engine optimization is actually showing on the top of the search results. Does that make sense to everyone? So if you visualize the Google results page, on the right hand side you actually have paid advertising, it's called Google AdWords. On the top you also have a little bit of paid advertising, and the rest are natural search results. So search engine optimization is actually about changing a website so it shows up in the natural search results, gets more visitors and can actually generate leads, and generate sales, build a profile of the business and so on. Just me, how many of you guys go onto the paid ads? Yeah, on Google. Anyone? One. Out of the whole class. How many of you guys go and look past the page ads on the rest of the page one and go into those? That's search engine optimization. <coughs> exactly. So there's a perception that if someone pays for the advertising, they don't necessarily deserve to be on the first page. They're just paying for it. Whereas in the search results, you think, oh, this is Google thinks this is relevant to me, or this is the you know I can see the. The website title, I can see the description, this is relevant to me, so I'm going to click on it. Anyone here go to the second page of the search results? A couple of people, third page? Third page? A couple to the fourth page, maybe? One. Still one? Yeah. So usually the first page is where all the action is at, sometimes the second and third page as well. So the first step was the research. What are people actually searching for? So if you're searching for um, you talked about the Adrian and Zumbo site before, right? So you're searching for, say, um, uh, artisan bakery in Manly. So then you get a search result that is relevant to him. But someone else might be searching for macaroons, or someone else might search for dessert chef, or there are different keywords that might lead to the same thing, but people are searching in a different context. Now, the second step is the on page optimization. So that's where we actually tell the search engines what is the website about. And we actually use the keywords that we found in the search first step. And the third, the third step, the off-page SEO in the, top, in the bottom right hand corner, is where we tell the search engines how important a website is. So first step, what are people looking for? Second step, what is your website about? Third step, how important is your website? So that determines whether it's on page three or page one. And then, for, then the fourth step is the testing, monitoring, and tracking. So that's where we can actually go and look at the statistics of a website. And you can then actually find out um, these particular keywords have led to someone inquiring about your product, <coughs> led to someone making a purchase on your website. And you can actually see which ones are profitable and then you can work on more of those and you can see which ones don't deliver any visitors, don't deliver any money into your bank account, and you just drop those off. So that's a really basic overview of SEO. Any questions about that? Yes? So does your company have its own sort of analytics program, like Google Analytics? No, we actually use Google Analytics. Oh, you can use Google Analytics. Okay. We have a couple of additional programs that we use, but Google Analytics. Okay, let's look at some other types of online marketing. So we've talked about search engine optimization or SEO. The second one is paid advertising. So that can be Google AdWords, we've already spoken about that. It can be banner ads that can be bought on a lot of different websites. It can be any sort of media buying where an agency buys placement on different websites. But it can also be Facebook ads. How many of you have seen Facebook ads on your Facebook profiles? Yeah. And they usually relate to something that you said you're interested in. So if you say that you like yoga, then you might see an ad for yoga course or something like that. And social media also then relates to Facebook, but in a different way. It's more it's not about necessarily buying the advertisement, but it's about creating commu community and creating content about a product or a service that, um, that people like so much that they start sharing it with their friends. And we've got a great, great case study about that in a moment as well. And then the last one is local marketing. So how many of you use Facebook check-in function? Yeah. yeah, quite a few. So then your friends can actually see where you are. And sometimes you can see where your friends are. So you can see, oh, they're at a certain cafe. I might go to visit them there. 
or if they can see you at uni, so they might go and meet you there, things like that. So people can, marketers can actually encourage that by offering special offers or discounts, things like that. Um, so there's Facebook check-in, there are things like Foursquare, if you've heard of that. Mm -hmm. It's another check-in function. And there are also search results that are locally specific. So you might have seen those on Google. If you search something that is locally specific, like a suburb, if, you, if we've talked before about a, a bakery in Manly, you will see search result that has a map on it from Google Maps. And so it actually just shows local search results. So you can see that the first three, SEO, paid advertising and social media, really work internationally. So if you're starting to promote a brand in another country, it can start happening by actually starting in one country and then starting to involve people in another country. Whereas local marketing is obviously really specific about a small group in a geographically specific location. So we're going to jump into some case studies. Does anyone have any questions so far?